This is the very short video for 20.3 D2. In this criterion, you need to evaluate what we started to look at in M2. That's why I've left up all this from that video, and that's why the video is very short as well. D2 says evaluate the choice of radiopharmaceuticals for a range of clinical imaging requirements. We'll be using the same four isotopes here, and in particular we're looking at how Technetium 99M has replaced some other radioisotopes and is so versatile that it's, uh, it's the radionuclide of choice in, for many imaging studies. So that's the one that we'll be comparing and evaluating in comparison to these other three. So Technetium 99M against iodine 131, Xenon 133 and Thallium 201. That doesn't mean that it's replaced all three, but you need to find out which ones of those it has replaced and then give reasons why and evaluate that choice. You should be referring to the properties that we, we identified, defined and compared for M2. So the type of radiation emitted by each radionuclide, the half physical half-life and biological half-life, you really need to be comparing the effective half-lives that you calculated as well. So that's the combination of those two. Uh, energy level, the chemical properties or toxicity, and the behaviour inside the body. Here, if you remember for M2, we were looking at the range of studies possible with each of those. So refer to your M2 work, but now you're taking it on to the next level. You're evaluating, you're giving reasons and justifications the choice of radionuclides for particular studies and the reasons for hospitals choosing to work with those radionuclides. Okay.